My relationship with the whole foundation for inner peace is just one of gratitude. That's what the impetus for all this was, uh, the spark yeah. was just to honor mm. <laughs> those who have walked before us. The publishers and, and of the course. And say thank you. Mm. Yeah. All four of them made a lifelong commitment and really honored that commitment to bring the course into the world. You know, I, I love coming to these events, but just the fact that it's the Foundation for Inner Peace that we're supporting, I'm very, very happy to, to support the Foundation for Inner Peace. They've been the organization from the get-go, and, and they've done incredible work. I think the 26 editions of the course that, have, that they've overseen the translation of at this point, and that was, that's not, that's expensive process. Sometimes it takes years to get through a translation. It goes beyond comprehension in the sense of form to understand the capacity um, of what this book has really given to this dream experience. It's the tool and what helps us remember that we've never left our source, that we've never left the mind of God. That is huge. I, I have such gratitude for those four who said yes, even though they didn't know what they were saying yes to but they felt it. And Judy became the publisher, and certainly her husband, Witt, uh, has been very instrumental in joining her in, in this long, decades-long collaboration of, of translating the course into 20-some uh, different languages at this point. And uh, Bob Scutch, uh, Judy's first husband, amazing uh, work that he's done in prisons and in uh, so many years uh, of dedication, and, and those three still go on. Judy and Witt and Bob's devotion to doing everything in support of the course has been nothing short of spectacular. They spend millions of dollars translating the course through much care and effort with translators from around the world in, in these many languages and and it takes financial support to keep this up to keep the original published version of a course in miracles that that helen had had asked be extended to the world uh, the foundation is doing that work and continues to do that work their single-minded devotion to archival things to trying to deal with all of the questions, the concerns, the issues, the, I, you, I can't even begin to tell you all of the correspondence, the conversations, the paperwork, the organization that is involved with what a lot of us think is probably the most important work of the past 2,000 years. When I was having lunch with Judy and, and Witt and uh, Tamara and uh, a group at her house, I had heard that uh, it was to be a fun-raising event, F-U-N, and we all had a good laugh with that. The proceeds of the event will all go to support the Foundation for Inner Peace. Peace of mind, the purpose of this course, is more exquisite than any words can ever describe. Celebrating yeah. inner peace. Yes, yes. Well, and it's gonna be here, <laughs> it's yes. gonna be here. It's being held at a great place. Uh, my friend, David Hofmeister, has his place there, his monastery in Utah, and, and actually it'll be my first time going there, but uh, I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be a great event. This, this will be a sizable event. Yes. There's a real buzz in the heart about it. We have beautiful um, teachers coming, but they're not coming to teach. Yes, yeah. They're coming just as you would come. We're coming to be together. It's like we're calling from the middle of the desert. Come, let's celebrate. That's a huge part of this, the celebration. When we come together and we celebrate this awakening, it is amplified. That's the power of community, of coming together, is to amplify the experience that I am in. To have 150 or 200 people all in one place celebrating this awakening. And so to be able to come to the monastery there and do the same thing, to celebrate the foundation, to celebrate this awakening that's happening right now through each one of us. Yeah.
have a very beautiful um, monastery here. There'll be some accommodation here. Then we have a campground where people may drive their RVs perhaps to here or bring their tents or maybe come in convoy with a few other friends and have their own little circles of tents. And it's a weekend and mm. you know there's options to stay longer if you're coming from far away. Yeah, it's it's for anybody and everybody to come and just and just be with that experience. It's going to be quite an experience. You know, it'll be just like this complete kind of revival feeling mm. of, of let's just get together and, and, and say namaste in a very, very deep way. And if you do A Course in Miracles, then uh, you're actually making a real contribution to the healing of the mind. And we are gonna be celebrating all of that in Utah in July. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there, and uh, we're going to have a good time. But I know that there are millions of people who will always be grateful to Helen and Bill and uh, Ken and Judy. They did a tremendous service to the world, and I think that history will record that. Not that it's necessary, but just because it's true. We love and respect the elders and we want to give them like a standing ovation for a job well done. Actually, I would say perfectly orchestrated by Jesus and so we can have that appreciation how everybody played their part so magnificently that, that we can just uh, stand back and, and full gratitude for everything that's been shared. What a beautiful opportunity to join and heal together. I'm looking forward to it. I'd like to meet you there, and it's going to be a great experience. Come to the conference. Come to the This Is to Benefit the Foundation for Inner Peace, who is the publishers of The Course in Miracles. Can't wait to meet all of you. I just want to invite everyone to come, to sing, to pray, to celebrate, and let's enter into this experience fully as one. It feels really, it feels really heartfelt to say, come and be with us. Um, the Spirit's calling us together for a reason, and it's important. It's very important. It's, it's the most important thing, actually. And, uh, and everything else that seems important is not important. You know, this call of the heart is what's important. And to honor that call, that's, what, uh, that's what's being asked for now.